look at that i'm gonna go for this one look at that people look at the roast beef inside hey everybody welcome back welcome back thanks for joining muda production once again guys so as my thumbnail indicate you see what i'm attempting to make today empanadas listen guys this is not just your regular empanadas you know i'm going ahead and kick these babies up a few notches i am attempting to make roast beef empanadas yes you heard right roast beef empanadas so shout out to the latin culture you know the caribbean culture is so similar in so many ways they have empanadas we have beef patties so i'm gonna attempt to make empanadas this is my very first time guys so thanks for joining thanks for sticking it out with me and watch this thing come together So here I'm just cutting up some uh, fresh seasonings, which is really onion, um, scallion, um, pieces of thyme. I'm going to add to that hot pepper just to zhuzh up the filling of these empanadas. I want to give a shout out, special shout out to two channels that i've subscribed to that i enjoy watching and i'm suggesting you guys go and check them out the first one is pockets life check her out watch the videos support her give her a thumbs up and subscribe second one is simply tony living alone after 50 go check out our contents bowl I have ah uh, I didn't measure it I have a stick of butter um let me check if it's salted or unsalted and I have an egg and I'm using the sink guys because I'm short on space right now and I'm gonna add some salt and I have a tablespoon of plain white vinegar and some ice cold water we're making a dough that's all we're doing pretty much all right so we're gonna make the dough combine all the ingredients and come back Yes, guys it's coming along nicely see so now that the butter and the flour is all combined it's starting to get that crumbly sandy look like pastry dough um supposed to have you could see little pieces of butter in there and that should make it nice and flaky so i'm getting ready to add the um liquid ingredients which is really the vinegar the cold cold water ice cold water and the egg and from this point on i'm just gonna start kneading forming the dough for the roast beef empanadas 
So I'm going to add the ice cold water in. And cold water is important, you know, because it keeps the butter and the dough supposed to have that firm texture. So you get nice flaky crust as you would want for any pastry. As this is my dough, you could see little bits and pieces of the butter in there. So now I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and leave it to come together for at least about half an hour. So everything get nice and cold because you want to work with the dough while it's cold because there's fat involved. All right, so stay tuned. Here's the star, the show now, you know. This is roast beef, leftover roast beef, carrots, and potatoes. That going to be the filling for the empanada. Watch the magic happen, guys. Watch the magic happen. <laughs> So the dough is chilling in the refrigerator and in the meantime i'm just shredding the beef that's gonna serve as the filling for this empanada that's been kicked up so many notches subscribe please thumbs up the video if you like the video and consider subscribing to the channel And there you have it, roasted beef with herbs and spices, shredded and ready for those empanadas. So I'm just sauteing these nice fresh seasoning just a little bit. And then I noticed that there's a little bit too much grease in the pan, too much oil. So I'm going to go ahead and drain some of this oil. Remember, the vegetables are already cooked, so I'm just incorporating them with the fresh seasonings, the fresh herbs, just to wake up the flavors a little bit.
and if you are one of my subscribers or you view my channel often my videos you would know that i like to layer my food so i'm adding extra seasoning even though there are fresh herbs and spices in the roast beef and the fresh seasonings the herbs that i just sauteed i'm still layering flavors everyone that watches my videos know that that's one of the things I like to do because the end result is delicious. Always layer flavors, guys. Layer your flavors. It won't hurt to add extra seasoning to your food. yes yes so now we're ready see the meat the filling was put to cool and see it's nice and dry no liquid to make the pastry all soggy who wants a soggy pastry that would work out it wouldn't fry good in the first place right so i'm ready to make my empanadas Here is the dough. After sitting in the refrigerator for about half an hour, it's still soft, manageable, but the butter inside is nice and cold, remain nice and cold. And I'm going to put that on my board, floured board, and get things rolling, literally rolling. I'm going to take off a little piece at a time. Most people take off or they cut it and then they, you know, section off and stuff. I don't have a rolling pin, guys, so I'm doing the best I can with what I have. Um, I know it will come out good, and I know it's going to taste good. Just watch this thing come together, viewers. Don't forget to like the video, thumbs up the video, and subscribe to Muda Production, man. Yes, man. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. So here's my first empanada disc. It's a little thick. And like I said, I don't have a rolling pin. So I'm going to have to make do. Here's my homemade rolling pin. Yes, a regular mason jar. Let's get it. Sound the alarm. I'm coming, I'm coming up. We'll have the ball. I'm sweet like a buttercup. Your puppy dog. Show them more what I'm made of. Strut down the hall. Won't stop till I get enough. So now it's time to start adding the filling. And I will be filling them one at a time. Each time I roll one dough ball out, I'm going to fill it. And then I'm going to roll the other one and fill until everything is done.
none of them I look good. They don't take long to fry because the dough is really thin. They might come on good. Really don't take a long frying time. Because I rolled the dough out real thin as you guys could see. And they're going to be nice and crispy. use my trustworthy Dutch oven what we call Dutch pot Dutch oven they come in different varieties it's not compatible with this type of stove as you could see it spins around most of the time but boy it cook good you cook anything in you know that bake fry even rice anything love it have different shapes different sizes good to go Remember to like people, thumbs up the video, and subscribe now man, subscribe, if you watch any of the videos and you like them, subscribe for more, and press the bell, the bell tell you when we post new videos, it notify you, right, so you can pass through and see what's going on on Muda Production, alright, the first one them out, see there, beautiful, beautiful, yes, Drain some of that fat off. Look at that, man. Nice. Whoa, if you could smell it, the filling. Oh my goodness. This is like this is like a a a, a gourmet empanada, roast beef empanada. Whoever hear about that? Oh man. All right, let's get the other one in. Get another one in. Drop the one in like that. I don't want to overcrow the pot. Let's put a little skinny one in again. Don't want to overcrow the pot because you don't want it steam. Yes, people, look at that. Roast beef empanada. Beautiful. Can't wait to taste them smell and the crispiness and the crunchiness. Oh God, man.
excuse me if you can squeeze this one in this was the first one i made twisting the edges like that it's almost finished so i'm gonna move that around yes these are going they're almost ready so i'm gonna, go, I'm gonna give that one some more room I was playing around with the shapes when I made this one. <laughs> it's like a pot pie pocket, right? You'll see how this one comes out. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty tasty like the others. Pretty sure. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay everybody lunch is served i would even call this lunch this is like brunch with two b's it's like after two or something like that oh i've been at it all morning making these beautiful things look at that look at that beautiful huh so i have some of this sweet baby ray secret sauce i'm gonna put a little on here as my dipping sauce. Don't want too much because I might not like it. Oh, all right. Let's see. Which one should I pick? Mm -mm. I'm going to go for this one. They got kind of cold, but they're still warm. Look at that, people. Look at the roast beef inside. Is the camera picking all this beautiful thing up? Is the camera getting all this beauty? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Try some with some of the dipping sauce. No caps, y'all. No caps. This is it. It's my first time making empanada, period. Look at all the veggies. And the meat is flavorful. Because remember, I re-seasoned that meat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look how many I got out of that one batch of flour dough. Mm -mm -mm. The crust, just the right amount of flakiness. See? Flaky enough. Crispy. Hmm? Crispy. Flaky. So good, guys. It's bussing, bussing, people. It is bussing, bussing. See the carrots and the um, seasonings, the onions. Mm -mm. For real, for real. Really nice. I never had this sauce before I bought the bottle and I opened it, but then I forgot why I opened the bottle. Oh, I had bought bag salad, prepared salad, and I didn't see the packet of Caesar um, sauce in there, Caesar salad, you know, whatever. So I opened this up to put on it to see how it tasted. And that's how come it's still open, but I didn't use out of it. It's not bad. I thought it would have been like overly sweet or something. It is a dipping sauce. Mm. 
It has a mild blend of uh, horseradish. Not bad. I'm not a fan of horseradish, but not bad. But guys, roast beef is too expensive these days to throw nothing out. Food is too expensive these days to throw anything out. You feel me? So, like we Jamaicans say, you have to turn your hand and make fashion. You have to be innovative, you know, in all areas of life. I'm not too keen on the dipping sauce, but these try people try for yourself if i don't get to put the recipe in the description leave a comment and i'll send it to you so good i'm gonna finish eating thanks for watching guys don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that.